In this lesson, you will learn how to find the slope of a line from a graph. We will cover examples with positive, negative, zero, and undefined slopes. The slope of a line is defined as rise over run. Rise is the vertical change between two points on a line, and run is the horizontal change. By counting the rise and run between two points, we can easily determine the slope of a line. First, locate two points on the line with integer coordinates. Next, find the rise. Start at the point on the left and count how many units you move up to reach the level of the point on the right. We move three units, right? So, the rise is three. Then, find the run. Start from where you left off and count how many units you move to the right to reach the point on the right. We move four units. So, the run is four. Finally, find the slope by dividing the rise by the run. Notice that the slope is positive meaning the line goes up as you move from left to right. Now, let's look at a line with a negative slope. First, locate two points on the line with integer coordinates. Next, find the rise. Starting at the point on the left, move down one unit. Note that, moving up gives a positive rise, and moving down gives a negative rise. So, since you move down one unit, the rise is negative one. Then, find the run. From where you left off, move to the right two units. So, the RAN is two. Finally, divide the rise by the RAN to find the slope. Place the negative sign in front of the fraction. Notice that the slope is negative, meaning the line goes down as you move from left to right. By the way, no matter which point you choose on the line, the slope is always the same. Let's confirm this by using these two new points. Starting at the point on the left, we need to move down three units, right? Remember. Moving down means a negative rise. So, the rise is negative 3. Then, we need to move to the right 6 units. So, the run is 6. Therefore, the slope is negative 3 over 6. If you divide both numbers by 3, it simplifies to negative 1 over 2, the same slope we found earlier, right? So remember, the slope is always the same regardless of which points you choose. It is a fundamental property of the line not dependent on specific points. Now, before we move on to finding the slope of horizontal and vertical lines, pause the video and try this one. As always start by locating two points on the line. Next, find the rise and run. Starting at the point on the left, move up two units. So, the rise is two. Then, move to the right two units. So, the ran is also two. Therefore, the slope is 2 over 2, which equals 1, right? Now, what about the slope of horizontal lines? Let's find out. Locate two points on the line. Notice that, as we go from the left point to the right point, we don't move up or down at all. So, the rise is 0. But we move to the right 3 units. So the ran is 3. Therefore, the slope is 0 over 3, which equals 0, right? A slope of 0 means the line is horizontal. Remember, the slope of any horizontal line is zero. But what if the line is vertical? Let's take a look. Locate two points on the line. As we go from the bottom point to the top point, we move up five units. So, the rise is five. But notice that we don't move left or right at all. So, the run is zero. Therefore, the slope is five over zero. Since division by zero is undefined, the slope is undefined. Remember the slope of any vertical line is undefined. In conclusion, lines that rise from left to right have a positive slope. Lines that fall from left to right have a negative slope. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. Vertical lines have an undefined slope. For more on finding the slope from an equation or two points, check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.